What is going on, everybody? Kevin Walsh back here for the Sports Kingdom, and I'm going to break down some NFL draft news that broke recently. Probably caught a lot of people by surprise. I know it did myself. Miles Garrett's name being thrown around um, and a little bit of controversy here. Now, this is the guy that a lot of people are mocking to go number one overall to the Cleveland Browns. That's where I mocked him in my mock draft. Released that recently here on the channel. Make sure you go check that out. Uh, do the whole first round, first 32 picks went in depth, so check that out. Um, uh, and Garrett makes a lot of sense for the Browns team uh, need-wise, but also just he's the best player available. He's the best player in the draft, and that's what the Cleveland Browns should be drafting. However, recently... It comes out that he's not going to be attending the NFL draft. He's not going to be there um, on the night. He wants to stay at home for the ceremony. And that seemed to cause uh, the reaction of a video being brought to the mainstream, a video that came out back in December, actually, of Miles Garrett asking Jerry Jones and, and Coach Garrett to trade up to the number one pick and pick him, trade Tony Romo and a number of draft picks, trade with the Cleveland Browns, he mentioned them specifically, and have him go one. He said, please, I'm begging you, I want to be a Dallas Cowboy. And this isn't hard to figure out why would Garrett want that. Uh, a lot of people said, oh, I just want to be a Brown, he doesn't want to be a Brown. It's not that. Um, well, that could be it, and we're actually going to touch on that. But the big reason is he's a Cowboys fan. He grew up in Texas, and you heard in the verbiage that he used there, he said, Dak Prescott is leading our team. Our team. He's not a cowboy, despite the fact that he wants to be, probably. Um, he, he's a fan, and everybody grows up dreaming of, of competing in the Super Bowl for your team, making that game-winning play. I'm sure Garrett wants to make the game-winning strip, sack, fumble, touchdown uh, You know, for the Cowboys in the Super Bowl. That'd be his dream come true. But more than anything, this guy wants to go number one overall because in a video that just got released, uh, it's on Twitter. Go follow my Twitter, at the Kevin Walsh. I retweeted the tweets where he said, what's most important for me is going number one overall, regardless of who the team is. That's what I want because that's the standard that I hold myself. Too. He also mentioned that that video was uh, about him asking the Cowboys to draft him that he kind of forgot about. It was a joke, and I think that's really how it, it, it really should be presented to us. It's not something to take serious. Garrett is not going to be calling those type of shots to demand the Cowboys to make that type of trade, mainly because the Cowboys can't. Uh, Tony Romo makes no sense for Cleveland. Um, the draft picks aren't as valuable, certainly for them to go all the way from the back of the first to the first overall pick. It wouldn't be able to work, but I wonder here if the big result is Garrett willing to be a Cleveland Brown. I think we just saw perhaps something that could be influential in Joey Bosa's holdout with the San Diego Chargers. He waited and waited and waited and waited and waited, and once he was finally paid, he won the Defensive Rookie of the Year, and it didn't hurt him one bit. It hurt the Chargers certainly a lot more than Bosa, as he eventually received his money, and then was the best defensive rookie, according to the awards, in the entire league. So it kind of can give Garrett, a guy who is being told by everybody that he's going to be the number one overall pick, that type of power. And he mentioned in that video, again, you have to just try to pick up on the little things. He didn't say, I want to go number one to the Cleveland Browns. That's who has the pick. He said, I want to go number one to whoever the team is. I don't care who the, the team is. And you can take that how you want, but him being unwilling to say, I want to go to the Cleveland Browns, perhaps he, in an ideal world, can avoid going to the Browns. They have struggled um, with the way their organization has been run, and perhaps that's just not what he wants. I still would put him there. I still anticipate they get it done. But the thing that I will leave you with, and I ask you guys, who could you see trading up to one logically where the Browns would agree and that team would be willing to do it to get Miles Garrett. My, um, you know, dream, I get not dream scenario, but I guess, you know, uh, if something that I could see happening would be the Carolina Panthers. This is a team that need edge rushers. A lot of people mock them, Solomon Thomas or Derek Barnett. Certainly, if they like those guys, they'd love to get their hands on Miles Garrett. Also, going from eight to one isn't that difficult. And the biggest thing is it keeps the Browns inside the top 10. Uh, I think then that gives them the opportunity to look at at someone like a Leonard Fournette uh, if they want to continue to go best player available or even Marshall and Lattimore for the secondary or Reuben Foster for a defensive leader. It still leaves them in play for one of those three guys. All three guys can end up on the board at that point. So um, I think that would be the one that makes the most sense to me if they were forced to trade out. Certainly as they get into the interview process, this story will probably continue to go to see how willing Garrett is. But keep an eye if the Browns actually end up trading out of that number one overall spot. Comment down below your thoughts on this and who you think the Browns could trade with. Kevin Walsh here in the Sports Kingdom. Thank you guys for checking this out. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe, and I'll see you next time.